Edward Melvin served as Air Force military police from 1981 to 88. In 1989, he became a state trooper before retiring in 2012. We can't take this election for granted. This election is, extre is extremely serious. He says Sheriff Danny Rogers asked him to come on board as chief deputy in 2018. When I left the sheriff's office after 11 weeks, and I left the sheriff's office because I saw the direction this sheriff was taking it. So after 11 weeks, I couldn't take it any longer. I decided to leave. So I left a six-figure salary on the table because of my principal. He says part of the reason he's running for Guilford County Sheriff is he promised the men and women he left behind that he'd come back. You can see over the horizon our constitutional rights are being eroded away from us. He's running with the objective of preservation and protection, preservation of First Amendment rights. And if I'm your sheriff, you will not be shut down, you will not be, be kept quiet. Bolstering security at schools. We're not there to control the children. That's the staff's job. We're there to protect them and protect the staff. And upholding the Second Amendment. I will have your concealed carry permit in your hands if it passes within six weeks or less. He says he wants to create a stable work environment within the sheriff's office. I see the men and women at the sheriff's office just extremely disenchanted. They have extremely low morale and uh, they're not happy. And says he's unique in having more than 31 years of law enforcement experience, as well as being the owner and CEO of a business. Air Force, State Highway Patrol, Sheriff's Office. But aside from that, I also run a multi-million dollar company that I built from the ground up. Looking to instill balance within the department and community through balance. My views are not somewhere out far right or far left. I just want the citizens of Gifford County to be free and live freely and happily. And with the help of the Sheriff's Office, we can do that. In Guilford County, Michael Hennessy, Fox 8 News.